Good morning. Here I am today come with this topic dark matter in physics. In the study of cosmology, uh, you will find this topic dark matter, dark energy. Okay. So today in this lecture, in this video, you will get only a discussion about dark matter. Dark matter is not ordinary matter as we know. Whatever we see, all are ordinary matter. Okay. The matter, whatever we see in our surroundings, even our body, everything is made up of ordinary matter. Means these matters are called ordinary matter. But dark matter, this is, this cannot be seen. Why this cannot be seen? Because dark matter does not interact with electromagnetic radiation. Means it does not absorb electromagnetic radiation. It does not reflect electromagnetic radiation. Again, it does not emit electromagnetic radiation. So there is no response of electromagnetic radiation on dark matter. It is not visible. This matter is not visible. Then how scientists came to know about the existence of this matter? That is the question. Yes, answer to this is that we know uh, Einstein's general theory of relativity. We know that thing. If you apply that general theory of relativity to the study of cosmology, means what? Means if you study gravitational effects of the galaxies or galaxy clusters, clusters of black galaxies, stars, okay? If you apply that general theory of relativity to the effect gravitational lensing, cosmic microwave background, formation and evolution of galaxies, galactic collisions, etc. So many cosmological phenomena are there. If you apply, if you assume that uh, general theory of relativity is fully correct theory. Okay. If you assume that, yes, there is a reason behind this. Because in many cases, we have got the proof of being correct of this theory, general theory of relativity. And assuming the same thing that it is applicable to everything in the universe, then if you make an analysis of these effects, okay, if you make analysis of these effects, then you will find that the matter which is visible in the universe are not sufficient. Are not sufficient uh, to account for the calculations done by scientists. Okay, those matters, whatever is visible in the universe, are not sufficient. More matter is required, but those matters are not seen. Those are not visible. Then scientists assume that there must be some matter in the universe which is not visible. Otherwise, calculations are not matching. Whenever you are using general theory of relativity to make calculations about the cosmological phenomena of the universe, then we can see, means scientists have seen, they have realized that some more matter must be present in the universe. Maybe those, those, those matters are not visible to us, but there must be some existence of those matters. Since those matters are not visible to our eyes, that's why those matters are called dark matter. The word dark is used for that purpose, dark matter. And estimation means calculation. How much dark matter is there in the universe? Calculations say that almost 85% of the total matter of the universe is dark matter. Means normal matter, means visible matter is only 
only 15, one five, 15 percent. So 85 percent, 85 percent of the total matter of the universe is dark matter. One more term is there that is called dark energy. Okay. Uh, there is one calculation by which scientists have got that ordinary matter in the universe. If you uh, think about mass and energy, both, okay, mass and energy, both, if you uh, consider, then you'll find that 5% uh, of the total matter is ordinary matter. This one I have written here. 5% is ordinary matter. 26.8% is dark matter. And the majority is what? 68.2%. This is much more greater than 5% and 26.8%. This 68.2% implies what? It implies dark energy. Here we are considering mass and energy both together. Okay. So in that case, you find that 68.2% of that is dark energy. And if you think about only matter, okay, means ordinary matter and dark matter, if you think only these two, then uh, you will find that 84.27% uh, means almost 85%, whatever I, I have written here. 26.8 divided by this 5 plus 26.8. So it gives the percentage of matter in the universe which is equal to 84.27 that means 85 percent okay so this much of matter is dark matter but we cannot see them we cannot see those matters okay so so uh, what is the conclusion from this analysis how scientists came to know the presence of dark matter the reason is Whenever we are assuming that this, uh, I have not written here, I have not written here, general theory of relativity, okay? Uh, general theory of relativity. In short, I have written GTR. Can you see? GTR. General theory of relativity of Einstein. If we assume that this theory is correct, if we assume that this theory is correct, and if you apply this theory to all these effects, means cosmological effects. Then you will find that the ordinary matter is not sufficient to satisfy these equations. This is called Einstein, Einstein's field equations. Okay, That is general theory of relativity. You will find that ordinary, ordinary matter which is visible that is not sufficient. More matter is required. And that more matter is termed as dark matters because those matters are more visible. They do not respond to electromagnetic radiation, absorption, emission and reflection. Nothing occurs with dark matters. Okay. Anyway, so this is the end of this lecture. Okay. Uh, next to this, I'll make one video on dark energy, only dark energy. This was only on dark matter. Next video will be on dark energy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.